today, Judith? Well, let's see. They've grown 22 inches since our last reading. That was... That was this morning, Doctor. Imagine a technology that can rapidly regrow damaged organs. A technology capable of bringing a cow like Jersey here to full maturity within weeks instead of years. That means more dairy product and beef. All of this and more is possible with a promise of A, G, T. Accelerated growth technology. Welcome to the future. Welcome to Jericho. Expect big things. Uh, I'll check the scanner on the way out. Continue to record their progress hourly. It's very important. Good night, Judith. Good night.
last animal in question. As you can see, it's clearly dead. This is the animal that killed a girl? Yes. This was a freak laboratory accident, nothing more. Okay, I'll put that in a report. If there are any further inquiries, Mr. Mayfield will be glad to assist you, Sheriff. Deputy? Mr. Mayfield. Do the police want to talk to me now? Remember, you didn't see anything. I did, Miss Kennedy. I saw it running down the hall. We don't need to open our private company to public scrutiny. You didn't see anything, understand? What about the one that escaped? You said yourself, these specimens have a limited lifespan. Oh, we don't know that for sure. There's been progress with each successive test. There's no reason not to expect this one to reach full maturity. I've got some calls to make. Lost your dog, huh? His name is Lucky. How long has Lucky been missing? Since yesterday. I, I thought he would come back, but he didn't. May I have one? Sure. He's only got three legs. Yeah, I can see that. Are you Michael? Mm hmm. Tom Banning, is that your father? No, he's my brother. Uh, my dad died. So, uh, have you seen Lucky? Uh,. I'll certainly look for him, okay? Okay, thanks, lady. Bye. Larry? I'm here, Diane. Just need you to pull an adoption record. Sure, something wrong. I just ran into a kid whose dog I gave away this morning. Just the relay kid? Okay, got the number. Already? We have an animal loose on the preserve that needs to be fed. It's critical you feed it at the same time and place every night. We've got to keep it coming back until it can be recaptured. I could trap this thing for you. My brother and me, Hank, used to trap muskrats all the time. We're bringing in a trained specialist. Miss P, I could do Mr. this. Mr. Danders, your job is to feed it. Just do your job. I'll leave you with a good doctor to discuss details. But, Miss P, I can do this. So, Doc, what kind of animal are we looking for anyway? All right, little dog, you just wait right here. <laughs> ah, much. Tell me you're not out riding your bike this late. Well, I've been looking for Lucky, and it isn't that late. I mean, it's only 11. 11 is late. You still haven't found him? I put up all these flyers for Lucky, and I've been looking really, really so hard. Do me a big, big favor. I really got to finish this work, Mikey, so go inside and eat something and get ready for bed, and look, if he doesn't come back by tomorrow, I'll help you find him. I promise, okay? Okay. Here, dog. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Come on, dog.
you ain't getting away. No, you ain't. No. Hey, stop. Come back here, you mutt! See me? Yes, sir. A man came in yesterday and took a dog. He gave me a false name and contact number. Here. This is the dog. So? Well, he lied. Actually, he did you a favor. You got to start getting rid of some of these animals. I'm working on it. Diane? Are you having trouble putting these dogs down? I'm sorry, I just can't gas an innocent animal. I know that, but it's costing the taxpayers a hell of a lot. If the taxpayers would spay and neuter their pets, we wouldn't have this problem. Mm. Look, I'm having a special July 4th adoption day. You and Mom don't have a dog. You know how your mom feels about pigs. I'll see you later, Tiger. Take care of business. Okay. I'm not gonna let him go. Dad know you're here? Nope. How's your jaw? Healed. Eventually. So, have you been? Okay. You? I ran into Michael the other day, looking for his dog. Bucky. Yeah. I just wanted to let him know I wasn't giving up hope, that I was still looking. Are you excuse me? Diane, yeah, Larry? Someone reported seeing your missing dog. Like the devil was after him. Are you sure it was him? You're kidding, right? Right, Larry, thanks. 10 4. If it has to do with Michael's dog, I should be involved. Five minutes to get my act together. He said he was seen somewhere around here. What's going through that head of yours? Nothing. Just thinking. About what? How you've grown up. Yeah? So what happened to you? Oh. Lucky! There he is! Lucky! Hey! 
Edwin! The sign says no trespassing. It's just for civilians. So what, I wait here? You're with me. Hey, there he is! Lucky! Come here, Lucky! You might not come. He's afraid of me. I, I dropped an anvil on his foot when he was a puppy. It was an accident. That's horrible! All right, you're forgiven. Come on. This is ridiculous. Okay, look, more tracks. Looks like you went that way. What are you waiting for? Maybe we got him. Come here, you little... <laughs> Up. We should take him to the sheriff's station. No, he needs a doctor. No, no doctors. No sheriff. Please. I have a reason for what I did. Well, start talking. My name is Dr. Lance Campbell. I'm sorry if I frightened you. If you'd be kind enough to drive me to Jericho, I'll explain everything. Please. The facility has restricted access, so give me a few minutes to clean up.
Genetic Research Corporation, better known as Jericho, is a multifaceted company that utilizes genetic technology to enhance everyday living. Look, cut the sales pitch. Why did you attack us? I didn't. I was protecting you. Oh, okay. For what? A rather large chimera crocodilian. So, you have crocodiles? Uh, just one. It escaped as a hatchling, and it's grown remarkably fast. And this crocodile lives on the preserve? Yes, but for how long, I can't say. So far, none of our test subjects have survived very long. I assure you, the preserve is well secured. Still my jurisdiction, Doctor. Jericho leases the preserve from the county. Uh, excuse me a moment. I don't trust him. Yes. Why did you bring them here? There's been another incident. Edwin Vanders was killed. By the experiment? Yes. Dr. Campbell, listen carefully. Jericho will not be held responsible for the indiscretion of a rogue scientist. Rogue scientist? It was developed by... Our help has arrived. I suggest... You remedy the situation at once. Well, good news. A wildlife expert has arrived from Australia to take care of the problem. So, we won't be needing your help after all. I wasn't offering my assistance, Doctor. This is my responsibility. We go along whether you like it or not. Now, where are we meeting? We have here. And this is Diane Harper. See that? And this is Tom. Uh... Tom Banning. Hey, good night, mate. Excuse me. Pleased to meet you, Diane. Doc, first round's on you. Uh, I don't know. I'm not thirsty, are we? Well, I guess it's my shot, Diane. Would you like to join me? Don't worry, I don't mind. Come along, man. Thank you. You're welcome. So, uh, what does Diane do? Diane is the regional animal control officer. Glorified dog catcher, really. Hmm. What do you do, Dick? Snake jump. Dick is a herpetologist. Reptile expert. I handle pistol and wildlife. Anything from deadly snakes to rampaging wild boars, but my favorite animal to kill is the croc. The bigger the better, you know what I mean? So, what's your plan? Well, that's easy. We just go about the feeding area, catch it, cage it, kill it. How big is it? I can't say for sure. That means we have to get a lay of the land. Ever hunt a croc before? I don't hunt. We all do, sweetheart. It's our nature. Why you wearing desert fatigues? Go and hunt, you idiot. Well, they don't allow no hunters in here, Carl. You know why? Why is that? Because there's deer everywhere. <laughs> you know what that means? What? This is like fishing in a barrel, brother. <laughs> <laughs> How come we ain't seen one deer? We ain't seen a squirrel or a possum. We ain't seen a groundhog. We ain't seen any fishes. Enough already! I'm gonna go take a leak. You keep your eyes open. This is stupid. Idiot. Ah! 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 
Well, what, what is it? Buddy, what, what is it? I'm all right, I just, uh, had a goddamn spider on my dick. <laughs> <laughs> they cut it out, man. You're gonna scare the deer away. <laughs> Buddy? 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 What's going on? Answer me, idiot. Buddy? Have a seat. I, uh, I gotta check on Michael. You want something to drink? care less about the old man. Thanks. I'm there for Michael, just trying to make up for lost time, that's all. <laughs> well, we've had quite a day, haven't we? Met ourselves a genuine croc hunter. Mm, yeah, arrogant Aussie asshole. Yeah, well, I like Dick. So how long you been catching dogs? About three months. Three years, rather. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> I really like it. Except for the part where they want me to kill the animals. <laughs> what? I'm sorry, I'm, I'm not laughing at you. What? <laughs> Lucky. <laughs> Lucky. I mean, he runs pretty fast for a three legged dog. <laughs> <laughs> we almost had him, though. <laughs> we'll round up his sorry ass at the preserve tomorrow. <laughs> you know, I've thought a lot about you over the last few years. Yeah. I've thought a lot about you, too. Lucky? Come here, Lucky. 
<laughs> we gotta get going. Hey, sunshine. Michael was already up and gone. He must be out looking for Lucky. Poor kid. Come here. Tom. 
planning to do with that? Shoot it full of sodium theopentol. That pea shooter's not going to do you much good. You got a better idea? Hey. Keep your eyes open, fellas. Crocs are cunning creatures that can turn the tables on you right quick. We have here. Holy shit. Fresh tracks. Come on. We're clear. through this. I don't know. Where does this lead, Doc? state. Come on. Where are you, your brother? Over there. At least 40 foot long. It's a big crock. Oh, my God. Where are you going? Fellas, Are you coming? Sheriff Harper, it's Diane. Pick up. Diane, this is our uh, deputy Kerrigan. Kerrigan, where's my dad? Ah, uh, he's ten two hundred right now, Diane. What can I do you for? He's what? Using the bathroom. Look, we need to clear Grant's lake. Get everyone out now. Out of where? The water, the beach, the entire area. Why? Because there's a giant... There's a crocodile in the lake. <laughs> All right, I'll get right on it. Look, I'm not kidding. I don't have time to explain. Diane, will you please stop messing with me? I need to talk to my dad. All right, I'll let him know as soon as he gets out. I'll uh, see you later, alligator. Kerrigan! Kerrigan! Damn it! Come on, come on, we gotta go. We don't have any... Right. Doc, you any good with a bun? Yeah. We're going to the boat. I'm going to the lifeguard.
Brandon. Stay away from the water, okay? See it's ugly mug. Shoot right between the eyes. Right? Must be best night. Are you insane? What happened to him? All the excitement too much for him, eh? Crikey. Thank you. Just some 
Prince Lake today. Nothing that I'm aware of. The reason I invited you here is to make it clear that despite the vicious rumors, Jericho has no knowledge or involvement in any of the tragic events that occurred. Miss Kennedy! Miss Kennedy! One of your employees was killed, and there are eyewitnesses... Dr. Campbell. Dr. Campbell technically was not an employee of Jericho. He was an independent contractor. But hasn't he been using Jericho facilities? I'll turn this over to Sheriff Parker. Rumors of a large lizard in the lake. What is your response? We're investigating the accidents on the lake. Until further notice, all activities are suspended. Park is closed. Thank you. Thank you very much. You even told us anything. Miss Kennedy. Last week, a baby crocodile killed a girl in your laboratory. Now, I've got a giant lizard killing people in my lake. What's the uh, Jericho connection here? None that I'm aware of. That's bullshit, and you know it. We're done, Sheriff. If you have any more questions, I suggest you take it up with our legal department. Uh, yeah. How long is it going to be like that? Uh, I don't know. A couple hours, maybe. It's a strong tranquilizer. So this is his flat, huh? Yeah. He's an artist. An artist? <laughs> that explains everything. Well, I happen to like him. A lot. He makes all this stuff? It's called sculpture. Sculpture? Well, it looks to me like you and I are never going to sing with a cook bars, are we? Whatever that is, no, I don't think so. Well, you can't have everything, can you, sweetheart? How about a road to the bar? Actually, my father would like to have a word with us. She's in love with the artist. So what are we talking about here? A giant crocodile. You've seen everything, but I've never seen anything like this. This is no ordinary croc. Jericho. Yeah, Jericho. Hey, Bowen. Take out a warrant on Jericho and make sure you include Miss Kennedy. Gotcha. Broken this in the left one. She's made a steal. So how do we kill this thing? Gas it. Carbon monoxide. Exterior vertebrates are very susceptible to carbon monoxide. She might have a point. That's how we used to put sick crocs out of their misery back home. Okay, so how do we find this thing here, though? Well, this is where she lives. She might feed elsewhere, but she'll be back. We should wait here till morning time. No, tonight. We're going to kill this thing tonight. Kill it with what? Diane, I'm going to use all the firepower we've got. We've got to get rid of this thing tonight before it kills somebody else. Dad, if anybody's going to get killed, it's... Diane, killed. please! Sheriff, maybe we should wait. We should be paid. Hey, look, Dick, I'm running this show here, okay? Kerrigan? Yes, sir. No drama. Have it your way, Sheriff. You know where to find me. Get the croc doc out of here, will you? Let's go, Desperado. Okay, man, let's move. Spread out. Let's go. Sheriff, I think I got something here. Guys, I got some. What is it? It's a kid's bicycle. What's left of it? Damn.
It's the boy. How am I going to tell Tom? Tell me what? What is this? No. You don't want to see this. Hey, hey, hey! All right, honey, I can't let you go. It's too dangerous. I'm part of this. Diane, please listen, honey. If something happens to you, I'd never forgive myself. You can imagine what your mother would do to me. Be careful. All right, come here. I want you to stay together, stay in radio contact. I'm going to try to lure him to the south shore. If you get a shot, take it. Don't wait for my orders. Let's move. Hey, um, let me have a shot glass and a bottle of anything and leave it right here, huh? seen a ghost, man. <laughs> Got my brother. My 12-year-old brother. Hey, you don't... Don't know how I feel. One of those bastards killed my son a few years back. Well, then I'm sorry for you.
five of my men were killed last night. We want to go along with that plan of yours. We're going to need Tommy, too. I don't think it's a good time. I'll help. Let's kill the fucker. It's all set, boss. How are we going to lure the croc into the tunnel? There's no worries about that. We've got the bait coming in now. What bait? Oh, no, you don't. No, you don't what? He thinks he's going to use the dogs. Yeah, please don't use the dogs. Honey, I have to. Well, I won't allow it. It's animal control. I'm in charge, and I say no. Well, then you've just been fired. What? You can't do that. Yes, I can. I just did. Look, Diane, it's not your decision. It's mine. Well, I won't let you. Diane, please don't do this. No, you don't do this. I'll get in the way. Kerrigan. Copper. What? Are you sure, boss? Do it. Hey, no, you stay off of her. Off him, too. Ramon. What? You can't arrest me. Who said anything about arresting you? I'm detaining you. There's no. a difference. Take him over there, put him Dad. in my truck, and let him chill out. Dad! Then you and Campos go to the chumbo. Sorry, Tom. No. You two give me a roadblock a half a mile south of here, okay? Now move it. Uh, you're not going to arrest me, too, are you, man? One never knows. Come on. Give me a hand with those dogs. You almost done with that, Charlie. Here you go. Second. This the last one? Yep. Wait. Wait. Come on, man. Where'd you learn to do that? Or do I not want to know? You coming? Where are you going? I'm going to get my dogs. I think it's uh, time to uh, turn up the spotty, man. Spotty? You, you mean spotlight? Yeah, man. Okay, turn off the uh, spotlight. It would really help matters if you would uh, learn to speak English. Too right, boss. Too right. 
Grab the torch. Grab the flint strike right there. All right? Now, the knob at the red hose. Turn that counterclockwise till you hear gas coming out of the nozzle. Okay, now hold the flint strike at the nozzle. Get the flint going. All right, now, this knob right there. Turn that slowly. All right, good. Now you're going to aim for the middle link, all right? You ready? Turn around. Be careful. Boss, this is Kerrigan. He's here. Lure him toward the shore. Yes, sir. You heard the sheriff keep killing. Killing. Come on, you bastard. Let's move. Sir, it's it's after your daughter.
First he breaks my jaw, then your dad has me handcuffed. I love that guy. What's this? Who's that? She's the one that hired me. Where's the animal? Over here. Come on. Make sure you use the soft light. I'm sorry, sir. Sure the activity over the radio. It's okay. What do you want? Well, the public needs to know that the danger is over. Is it? I don't hear anything. Well, then open it up. I've got to do this quickly. I've got an injured man. Uh, we'll talk later. Let's go. Open it. Yes, ma'am. He's got this moving. Not that I could do anything about it now, but... It's okay if you see my daughter. Thanks, Dad. Take care of her. Thank you, sir. So, uh, when are you heading back to Australia? After I see a couple of sights. You're a lucky man. Hmm. How did Jericho get involved in all this? As soon as we heard that there was a problem, we contacted Sheriff Harper and his men. We made every resource available we had, including our subcontractor, Dr. Campbell, who unfortunately had a terrible accident on the lake. Was there a plan? No. But we came up with one. After the tragic loss of life, we decided to step in and... Uh... She's making things up. That's the way of the world. Let's go, Dick. See you later. Maybe we should turn the gas back on. Thank you for being there. together a team of experts to study the problem and what are you doing? I'm not done. Yeah. We gotta get to the other side of the 
tracks. We, we can uh, okay. We gotta go now. Hold on. Where are you going? Just be quick. Just... Hold up. Let's go somewhere together. You mean like a vacation? Yeah, like a vacation. For a month or two. Yeah. Okay. Will you drive?
everything.